What is going on people? You guys have been asking for some new kingdom action and well Here we have some new kingdom action now. We went after a couple of the bigger people in the kingdom um, in STK guild which uh, Funny enough, <laughs> you know, what? I'll tell you the story a bit later uh, But yeah, we were going after a couple of their R4s because I don't know, it's like in New Kingdoms, you get a million troops and all of a sudden you forget that a rally is a thing, like, do, do you feel safe from solos? Well, rallies are still a thing, like, I don't know, people just kind of forget that people can actually rally. But either way, we started a rally. In these kingdoms, when you see somebody in the 80, 100 million my, 120 million my, you might think that they have a bunch of troops. But honestly, if they're if they're doing any sort of research, they probably don't have a lot of troops and probably can't take a decent rally. So we figured that was the case with Cell Tiger. And of course, we saw that uh, he was offline. So we went ahead and started to fill the rally. Now, I went ahead and actually started to use my anti-scout and did all of that because Cell Boyu started to uh, port in and attack us. But obviously... If uh, at this might range, etc., all you gotta do is shelter, and you're pretty much not gonna lose anything. So he just poured it over, just I, I don't know, just to just to make sure that he could do something, I guess. Either way, we were focusing on this rally that was going to launch over here at Cell Tiger, while Cell Boyu starts hitting all these dead castles that have nothing in there. They're sheltered. You can go ahead and hit us all you want because we hide our troops. Now, here's the thing, though. As you can tell, I have quite a bit of resources in my castle, so I was hoping that they they would always just think that I'm empty, they wouldn't hit me, etc. That way, I can keep the resources and keep using it for my buildings, my research, etc. But, that will come back down the line. But, there is also, in this kingdom, if you're a veteran, you know all the tips and tricks of how to sp when to speed your troops up, when to hide, when to shield how to do everything so i wasn't really too worried and then at the end of the day if they just played it better than gg to them it's my they're just gonna go into the infirmary so it is what it is i was not really too worried the main thing that i wanted to keep away was my leader and he was sheltered for or i guess she was sheltered for 12 hours so i was good there i was really no no imminent danger or anything like that now back to sell tiger 123 million might i believe he was either the second highest might at this time or he was up there he was definitely top three i'm pretty sure and uh we got a 1.8 million rally this wasn't really planned or anything like that so we just kind of put together a random rally and kind of went with it and um see what we could finally uh, actually put together and for some reason we got some troops joining here at the last second so i was like well, what's what's holding up the rally what's going on and we finally realized what was going on and sped that thing in and then once it was all sped up we finally started our walk and uh yeah we well, there's no blasts or anything like that we just kind of send in what we can and this man goes from 123 pow and now now sell boy you is sending reinforcements it's a little too late buddy he's down to 97 million wouldn't you send reinforcements before he gets hit no he, he sends it after which makes absolutely no sense to me but hey it is what it is now here's the thing after that rally he was uh subject to actually being soloed so i started to speed up my troops just a bit um that way it actually matches my my fury because if you notice my fury is up in 11 minutes and my march is back in 11 23 so i sped it up to where it was enough to where i can actually shield by the time it got back now, back to the rally. Look at that. A million dead. Only 40,000 wounded. Meaning that this dude does not believe in infirmaries. And then, of course, the surviving troops, 436,000. It was soloed out uh, by Legion. So he was completely wiped out. Uh, <laughs> he went from 123 to 84. And in a new kingdom, lo listen, m losing 40 million troops off of one rally? Uh, yeah. Then... Of course, it says next one. Well, we do got a next one. Uh, unfortunately, he hits toxic burns here and releases some leaders. But again, it doesn't really matter. Didn't really get any troops or anything like that. So we were content with that. And then, of course, we went and uh, 
now it was it was time to actually get my troops back now here is where it gets a little interesting because at this time he was just i think he was just kind of soloing whoever was uh getting a march back and i took a look at what he was sending and one thing to note he only sent t3 so that led me to believe that maybe he doesn't have t4 i never really saw him send t4 in anything so this guy might just be a bunch of t3 might which uh, we don't mind to see because that's gonna be great to rally later um, so yeah he hits me and of course I was hidden and everything so I was not worried about that but the one thing I was kind of worried about is if he notices the resources that he's walking back with he's gonna start marching a lot on me and that's exactly what he did he poured it over and he started sending some troops now he only he, I think he only sent like t2s uh, and then limitless poured it over in the send a uh, a garrison but i believe it got there a little too late um after the initial hits but after i actually took a look afterwards he was only getting like 500k resources each hit so honestly i was like ah that's not really that big of a loss now here is where this dude shows how not experienced he is my march is still 40 seconds away now my fury is up in 10 seconds which is intentional i didn't speed it faster than my fury for this exact reason because now i can shield as soon as my troops are back but here's where he makes the mistake and it shows me that he's probably not that experienced at this he has the right idea but he stands the march now like i was gonna try and speed it up but this march that he sends it gets here in nine seconds my march is still 15 seconds away so he's literally gonna do nothing he's gonna hit and i'm still waiting for him to maybe send like a second march or something like that but he hits and now he's waiting i don't know why he was waiting for so now i can just calmly taking my time shield and not have a worry in the world so after all of that i think he only walked away with like maybe seven to eight million resources in total which i'm completely okay with now we went for another of the R4s, SDK, Cell JG, and uh, this guy was 80 million might. Um, uh, 80 million might, he's still one of the uh, the higher might uh, guys in the kingdom. Now, unfortunately, because the dude already knew that I was full of resources, I couldn't really join this rally or else I was just going to get farmed. Um, so we had to make do with uh, with what we had at the time and then to be fair I mean, I was only adding like what 50k troops. So it, it wasn't like make or break I I'd rather make sure that I have these resources uh, if we need it for wonder battles, which is coming up soon uh, I think it's actually like six hours. I want to say from uh, this probably going up. So it will be it should be fun uh, It's gonna be like 3 a.m. My time though. So uh, it's gonna be quite interesting uh, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure here that everybody knew what they were doing, that they would shelter, that they would shield, etc. Whenever um, whenever they had their troops back. And then this one, we actually filled a little bit more, 1.9. Which, like again, like I said, this wasn't uh, planned or anything like that. It just kind of happened. So to almost get a full rally uh, on a whim like this was great. Um, so yeah, the rally starts walking. And again, we're just kind of sending random stuff. The gear he has is actually not too shabby. I mean, for for a week old, week and a half old kingdom, that's not bad at all. And uh, we were hoping that he stays offline. 80 million might. People forget that uh, rallies are a thing. And uh, we get the rally to hit right about now. And there's the fire, baby. 61. Um, so we, uh, I wasn't in that rally on this one, but they, this one was also 1 million plus dead and uh he gets soloed uh to zero right after so a couple of the stk big guys are zeroed and actually uh after this happened uh, uh mo most of the stk's big guys jumped over to bbw and merged so now stk is pretty much like no longer uh existing because they 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 feel like bbw and stk had to merge in order to actually stay ahead of us which is so sad it's so sad like come on guys why do you have to merge? <laughs> it's it's so sad. But yeah, I'm guessing that the people that they left behind in STK are probably just gonna feel abandoned and a jump ship. We've had so many people from STK wondering if they want to join our guild now. So yeah, um, keep merging in order to keep up because you're gonna need it. Also, big shout out to Agasaya, MVP so far. Uh, very, very nicely done with the rallies and you see the reports right there. 
hopefully WoW is gonna be just as lively. And um, I might stream it, but again, it's gonna be 3 a.m., so I'm not sure. Uh, uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys for watching, and until later, bye!